Hello, I'm Emily Spaven. This is your Week in Tech. In investment news, tech startup creator Entrepreneur First secured £40 million to further invest in its alumni. The Next Stage Fund will invest alongside early stage venture capital firms to help the programme startups to scale. London ad tech firm Ogory raised $15 million in a Series B round. The company plans to use the funds to accelerate international expansion and invest in technology, R&D and recruitment. Further investments from this week include data analytics company My Life Digital's £2 million, point of sale finance company Devido's £2.5 million and London-based MarTech startup Driftrock's $1 million. The UK government has expressed an interest in Hyperloop, a transport network that would see people travel through a series of tubes in magnetic pods. The superspeed technology would transport passengers close to the speed of sound and would get them from London to Manchester in just 18 minutes. Speaking of Manchester, Health Secretary Jeremy Hunt visited the city to talk about the new NHS website. It should be ready by the end of the year and will enable patients to book appointments, order prescriptions and access medical advice and a list of approved health tech apps. Dell Technologies completed its acquisition of EMC Corporation. Dell bought EMC for $67 billion, which is a record price for a tech acquisition. The deal makes Dell Technologies the world's largest privately controlled tech company. Our download of the week is Drive Now. The app allows users to find and reserve a nearby BMW vehicle. Fuel, tax, insurance and parking are all included in the driving rate, which starts at 29 pence per minute. With no designated pick-up or drop-off points, the vehicles can be left in any car park within the area for free. And finally, a study has revealed Facebook can make people as happy as getting married or having children. Conducted by Carnegie Mellon University and Facebook researchers, the study showed personalised posts and comments increase people's well-being and satisfaction with life. Now isn't that lovely? That's it for this episode of The Week in Tech. For more technology news, visit our website and follow us on Twitter.